Hello guys, so I have, this is going to be kind of a different, um, I guess you would say video that I normally do, but here lately, um, I don't know, I just kind of had my mom on my mind, and I guess some of y'all know that my mom passed away and stuff, but, so I just want to get on a topic today about, uh, hold on one second, um, I guess, I don't know how to word it. I guess how you would overcome when you lose someone close to you, dear, that you love. Because it is very, very difficult. Um, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my experience with it. Um, this was my mom and me, which I was a teenager here, I think. Or no? I probably just had one kid at this time. I was probably like... Um, 18 maybe 18 or 19 and anyways um okay i'm gonna try to do this without crying because i don't really talk about it much but anyways okay she um she passed away uh september 15th 2007 um she passed away three weeks after i had my second little girl now having a baby three weeks First of all, having a baby is a difficult time. I was breastfeeding her at the time, and then three weeks later, my mom passed away. So, to me, in that aspect, looking back on it now, I had difficulties of, you know, having a baby is supposed to be a happy time, you know, which it, like, I was very happy that I had her, but at the same time, I was in a grieving process. So, that was one very difficult time for me, but I made it past it. Um, my mom, I guess I can, I'm, I'm all over the place because it's hard to talk about, but anyways, my mom had come down to my house, um, like maybe a week before she passed away, it was on a Friday, and, um, she, um, she was planning on spending the night with me that following Friday, it was the Friday that she died, and, um, I had noticed that her legs and stuff were swelled up, but she, she was really healthy, she had nothing wrong with her. And I said, Mom, I said, do you feel bad or something? She said, no. She said, um, just her heart sometimes beats fast like mine does and everything. I thought it was stress and stuff because my stepdad had died like six months before she died. And so I kept noticing, you know, looking back on it after she had died, I, I had noticed, you know, she was acting weird. And uh, anyways, before she left, she hugged me and kissed me like three times on my lips. And she hardly ever done that. I said, Mama, what's wrong with you? And she's like, nothing. She says, um, can I tell you that I love you? I'm like, yeah. So at the moment, I didn't really think nothing. But anyways, um, keep in mind, too, um, when I had Gracie, I didn't get to spend much time with her and stuff. So I'm not going to cry anymore because it's, it's hard to talk about, but I don't need to cry. Um, so I didn't get to spend time with her much and stuff like that because I had just had a baby and I had two kids at the time and you know it was very difficult so that Friday whenever she was um I was going to the orthodontist and I had noticed that she hadn't called which that was very rare like she'd call me first thing in the morning I told my husband I'm like honey I wonder what's wrong why hadn't she called and she's like uh, he told me she's probably just busy or something and anyways um sure enough on the way to the dentist um, I got a phone call stating that first they said, is this Stephanie? I'm like, yes. He's like, there's been an accident. Um, he said, your, um, your, your mother has passed away. And I'm like, you know, I was like in shock. I cussed. I'm like, you better quit effing lying to me. I said, you know, this is not funny because that's just what was in my mind. I was just, I, I thought somebody was joking around, you know, I would never think my mom would die. And he's like, no, ma'am. Your mother has passed away. So, um, some of you may not like this video. If you don't, just get out. You don't have to watch it. But I just want to be a help to others. So, I just felt like sharing this. And anyways, so, um, after when I handed the, my phone to, the, um, to my husband, he was like, honey, it's, it's really happened. So, the only thing that I remember is turning back around and I just kept saying no no how can she be gone 
and, and in my mind, I kept saying, like, how can I live without her? Like, how, how can I possibly go day by day, you know, carrying on? And I remember going to past, the, like, it was like the railroad road tracks, and I had my daughter in the back. She was, like, two. And then, um, which, of course, Gracie was three. And I remember just, like, thinking in my mind, I'm going to have to calm down. I've got my kids in the car. So, anyways, we um, come back home. We called my husband's grandma, and she came and sat with the kids while, um, you know, we went and um, took care of, you know, things. And, of course, we had to go and uh, identify her body. She, um, you know, when there's not family there, they'll take you to the hospital and do all this kind of stuff, which everybody, I guess, I don't know. I don't know how all that works. But anyways, we had to go and, and, and verify that it was my mom. And um, I'm going to try not to cry. But anyways, I remember telling my husband, I'm like, I can't look at her. And he's like, that nurse was like, she doesn't look bad at all. And he's like, do you want me to go in there? I, I'm like, yeah, go in there because if she looks bad, I can't handle it. So he did. And um, he came back out crying. And then I went in. I didn't stay too long. Um... I remember looking at her, and she had her hair up in a ponytail like how I always do. And, um, I kissed her, and I went out. Um, and I guess the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've had her on my mind. And, um, I just wanted to let people know that if you experience losing somebody, you can overcome it. Um, so... I need to quit crying, but it's hard to talk about. Um, so anyways, um, after doing all that, we had to like pick out her casket and all this kind of mess. And her favorite color was purple, so you know we put her in a, a purple a purple dress. And just to get everything short, um, um, all of y'all know that I sing, so I figured, you know, I sang at my dad's funeral, so I could do my mom's. So, I sung Refuge, and I remember right before, um, well, I didn't get to the point to where, whenever I first viewed her, but anyways, I couldn't do it. I sat outside for a long time, and then I finally did, but anyways, that's another whole long story. Um, I don't want to go to into details to all that, because it will make me cry, um, but anyways, as I was telling her bye, and then I had to go in there and sing to her, you know, sing to the congregation that had came. And I remember, I kissed her, I'm like, I, there is no way possible I can sing over my mom. And I kissed her, and I went in that room, and for a split second, something came over me. And I knew it was my mom, and I knew it was the Lord, and I knew it was the Holy Ghost, because, you know... I'm just going to go into some detail. I was raised Pentecostal, and I don't know if a lot of y'all know about that, but I'm telling you, in a time of trouble, God is there in a split of a second. You may not feel him at the time, but he's there. And so, anyways, at that split second, something came all over me, and I'm here to tell you, I sang that song from the beginning all the way to the end, because I knew that that was what she would want, and she'd be pr proud for me. So, I done that. And anyways, this is another picture of her and Katie. And that was my stepdad. He passed away like five or six months after or before she did. And you know, after when all that was said and done, um, I don't know how I want to go with this. I just wanted to share it because I just felt like somebody out there maybe needs to hear it. Um, so I'm just going to just talk about it how I want to talk about it. Um, but you know... Every morning, she would call me or I'd call her. It was like 7 or 8 every morning. So, my cell phone, I threw it. And that week after she died, which I had to go and like go through all of her stuff, I kept the sentimental things. The rest, I got rid of. I didn't want them. I couldn't stand it. Um, but anyways, that was very hard. And, but anyways, um, the phone... I didn't, I didn't have a phone. I wouldn't talk on the phone for, Lord, probably weeks after she died. Because I was like, why would I need a phone when she's not here? I went through that time. Every morning, I would think that she would be coming. 
but she never would. I remember looking out the window when, um, put them up, close my door back. But anyways, I remember looking out my window thinking that, you know, she was going to come and I just couldn't believe that she would never come. Um, you know, that was just very, very hard. And, um, but I remember, um, you know, I had four, I had three kids at the time and I remember like, how in the world can I carry on? And then, um, no, I had two kids. I just had Caitlin and Gracie. Sorry. How can I carry on and just live my life and take care of my kids at the same time and move past my mama being gone? So I went through that, Lord, for, I guess for the first three or four years, it was like so hard. Um, but to get to the, the positive side, I remember um, one day I was on my couch. And um, I was just like, I would be in like a daze. I'd watch TV and stuff. And um, I, like in my mind, I was praying. I'm like, God, I cannot do this anymore. There is no way possible I can keep going on without my mom. And like God was speaking to me in my mind. And he was like, um, he's like, if like I could hear it in my mind. He was like, if you take one step, I'll take two. From that point on, I think I completely just let it all go and just, you know, knew that my mom was in a better place. And and to know that she would have been proud of me and my husband and my kids. Um, because at the time, after my stepdad died, she didn't have nothing. And my husband and I, we had to get her a car and, you know, we gave her money and stuff. We gave her... Um, a phone and minutes to get on her phone and stuff. So I knew she would have been proud, you know. And, um, but anyways, the Lord helped me through it. And I just wanted to come on here to tell whoever, if you've lost your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousin, it's going to get better and it will get easy. It, it just takes a whole lot of time. And it's been almost seven years since my mom's been gone. Seven whole years and I still have days to where I miss I miss her so bad. But you know what? Tomorrow's a brighter day. Um, but yeah, that was a very difficult time in my life. And if I if it wasn't for my my husband and my kids and the Lord, I don't I really don't think I'd have made it. Honest to God, because that was just the hardest thing. You know, I've lost my dad and stuff, but it's nothing compared to losing your mom. Because your mom's like your best friend. You can call her out anything, talk to her. You know that you can trust them. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't think it would be this hard to talk about it, but it is. Um, but if y'all don't like these kind of videos, like I said, you don't have to watch them. This is just something that I wanted to share. Um, but anyways. This is a picture of her with her first granddaughter and that was Katie and she was so so tickled to death about you know having a granddaughter for the first time and she she done so good with the with um Caitlin she would buy her coloring books she would come to the house read to her um color with her all the time I would even color with them it was so much fun um but yeah she was so so happy um I don't think yeah, this is, and then, this is the one before she passed. You can't see her, but you can see her right here. She was right beside me. And that that's Gracie, my second little girl. And she was very tickled about having another um, granddaughter. Um, and there she is again looking at me. She was only like 40 or 41 too. I mean, it was so freaking hard to believe. And my dad was 37. I was 16 whenever um, he passed away. But, you know, that's life, you know. We don't, we don't understand why God calls our loved ones home. And, you know, that was something that I could never, it took me so long to, you know, to understand. You can't understand why. Of course, you're going to question God, why, and then for me, a few years went on, I, I would still, and still today, I don't know why, 
but God knows, you know. I don't know why I wanted to share this, but I just felt I had it on my mind, and I wanted to. And here's another picture of me and my mom. Yes, I looked completely different. I was like 17. Um, that was before I got married. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with, because I mean, I know people have lost their loved ones and stuff, but you will get, you won't get over it, but you will move on and you will, um, you know, just, you will live and learn to deal with it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on there to tell y'all that. Um, like I said, some of you all may not like, you know, videos like this, but to me, this, I just want people to know who I am, you know, and uh, just things about me other than just coupon and hauls and, you know, uh, dollar store hauls. Because I know in life when you're faced with something, there's always going to be a testimony to help someone else along the way. So, um, oh, here's another positive thing. I'll try to hurry. I don't know how much, many more minutes I've got on my phone. But anyways, I wasn't trying to have another kid with my third. And, um... So, all of my kids are two years apart. And anyways, Gracie was just two. And I, my mom had come to me in a dream. And she's like, Stephanie, you're going to have a, a baby. And it's going to be a boy. I'm like, Mama, what, what are you talking about? You know, this is the dream. She's like, you're going to have a baby and it's going to be a boy. A few weeks later went by on Mother's Day. I'll never forget it. I, sure enough, I took a test. I was pregnant. And when it was time for me to, you know... Keep in mind, I was buying boy stuff because I just knew it was going to be a boy because my mom had come to me in a dream. And my mom had been there with me with both girls through the delivery. So I thought I was going to have a difficult time, but I didn't because I had these dreams. Sure enough, I remember telling Dr. Bledsoe, he was my doctor, and I, I would wear my mom's ring. And I still do whenever something important comes up or something like that. And I told him, I said, you know, my mom said I'm going to have a boy. And at the time, it took him like 15 minutes or 20 because the baby was stubborn. And he looked at me and he said, uh, Stephanie, you were right. He said, um, your mom told you right you were having a boy. And I remember just crying. And I knew that she was there with me through that dream. And then with Isaiah, um, I, I had this dream. She was sitting on my bed holding up a onesie and it was blue. So, then again, I was buying boy stuff, and I knew that it was going to be a boy. That sounds crazy, but that happened. And, you know, little things like that gives you peace and encourages you along the way to know that they're still here. You know, they may, may not be here with you physically, but they're still here. Um, they live within you, with your kids, you know. But anyways, I just wanted to tell someone on here, don't give up hope. Just keep going on. It may look hard, and it may look blue outside in your life, but you know what? There's going to be a brighter day, and you're going to be able to move past it, past it. Give your testimony to help help someone else along the way. Um, like, I couldn't believe that I started crying on here, but I did. But it's part of it. But anyways, I just want to thank you all for watching, those of you that did. And um, for you all that had lost loved ones, just keep going. Keep smiling, because... The Lord will help you through it, and um, you'll get to see them again one day. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'm sorry if I was all over the place, but that's just how it is. It's hard for me to talk about things like this. I hardly ever, very rarely do. But anyways, that's, I know it was everywhere, but oh well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.